Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Diction Watch Reviews. Today we have a watch from a company based in France called Salt. This is their day dive watch. Probably the coolest watch I think they have in their catalog. And this is a newer company. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box here. Give me one second. And there she is. As you can see, Salt. Here's the little card that comes. It will be necessary to manually wind your watch 30 to 40 times. I'm necessary. This is in French. Okay, and you get your warranty card on a little code there, which is pretty cool. Here's the actual watch. So obviously it's a dive style watch, but a quirky one. Uh, definitely something very different. Looks pretty cool. You do get a genuine leather band as well. Price point around 400 euros. And I believe they, they always have some 10% off or something like that. Let me get this box out of the way. Simple cardboard box. Nothing really to complain about. I'm not a big fan of boxes. Anyway, let's get right into the watch. And here is the Salt Day Dive in the Flesh. Kind of a quirky dive watch. Very nicely sized, though. Um, yeah, really cool. Look at all those applied numerals. We have an 8. Then we have, a, we have some numerals. We have some markers. We have a horizontal marker at 6. Very quirky. Very cool. So this is the Salt Day Dive uh, from Salt Watches in France. As you can see, it's already running. Uh, it's running a great movement, the Miyota 9015, which I really, which is one of the reasons I really wanted to take a look at this model. Now, some specifications. We're looking at a 38 millimeter diameter case, which is a very nice size for in these modern times. Many people are looking for smaller watches, 40 to 38, uh, which I've realized not everybody, but a lot of people do like that size now, which is uh, kind of going back to the past of traditional sized dive watches. And with the actual bezel, which pokes out a tiny bit, as you can see there, we're looking at 38.5 millimeters. Um, thickness of the case, we're looking at 10.9 millimeters, which is 11 millimeters, basically, which is pretty thin. As you can see, the bezel is a bit thicker than the actual case, which gives it a nice kind of vintage look, in my opinion. The watch is water resistant to 120 meters. So you're not getting 100 or 200, you're getting 120. Uh, which is perfect for swimming, you know, you're not going to be able to go diving probably with this watch, but for swimming in a pool or, you know, jumping in the water, you'll be okay. And this watch is kind of meant, you know, from the office to the beach, or office to the pool, kind of an everyday watch. Uh, and I think they did a pretty good job on this one. So the case itself is actually solid 316L steel. It's fully polished on the sides. We do get a signed screw down crown. You can take a look at the other side of the watch here. It is highly polished. As you can see there, um, very nice. We get a genuine sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. We also get a sapphire 120 click bezel, which is very nice. There also is a lot of loom on this watch, which I'll show you towards the end. Not super, super potent, potent, but it definitely gets the job done. So inside of this watch, as you can see, is running the Miyota 9015. We get that smooth sweep at four hertz. We get around a 40 hour power reserve, hacking, hand winding, quick set date over at the three o'clock position. These movements are very reliable, kind of the equivalent, Japanese equivalent to an ETA 2824. Go ahead and unscrew the crown there. Very smooth, easy to wind. I like how we have that nice blue hand, which uh, you can really see. One position here, flip through the date. Final position is hacking, and we can change the time there. Functions very nicely, Just set it to 810. Screw that back down. So no issue with the crown at all. Now the bezel is uh, is fully uh, sapphire, which is pretty cool, just like the actual uh, crystal on the watch. And it does have a very nice action. Very nice. Very, very nice. Everything does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position there. Now taking a look at the actual case back, as you can see here, it does say salt with a nice jellyfish, which I think is uh, pretty cool. As you can see, designed in France Studio, uh, 42 hours running time, 316L, day dive, Japanese automatic movement, Miyota 9015, 24 joules, 12 ATMs, water resistant, screw down case back, screw down crown. Get a glimpse of the quick release strap here. So it comes on this nice kind of canvas, not canvas, or NATO style, two piece with a quick release with a signed buckle with two keepers here. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Definitely fits the style of the watch here. Uh, the actual dial is black, but it's more of like a matte black, as you can see there, uh, which is pretty cool. If I get you a little closer, the markers are actually uh, applied, uh, which is nice. Very interesting, that 8 over here, and the horizontal at 6. 
like I said, it's kind of a different watch, you know, something that straightforward dive watch, but something a little quirky, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, let me take a look at the Loom now and I'll uh, show you guys what it's all about. As you can see here, there is some nice green Luminova on the actual bezel, the applied markers, and the hands. Uh, it's not too bad. You know, it's not Seiko Seiko bright, but I think it gets the job done and it doesn't fade quite fast. So yeah, I mean, there's not much room to apply Loom on these markers anyway, but I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, you can definitely see it at night. Uh, but it definitely works. There she sits on my 6.5 inch wrist. Those short lugs, which are highly polished on the tops, really, really fit nicely on my wrist. It really fits perfectly. As you can see, you have a DLC coated bezel on the sides. So you have the nice contrast between the steel and the black and the black band. If you didn't notice, the actual bezel is a kind of a dark bluish color. Didn't even realize that till the fully light hit it, as you can see right now, kind of matching the sweeping seconds hand there. I think it looks really classy, kind of something you can wear in all different situations. Now it also does come with a nice genuine leather band, which isn't of bad quality. It's actually pretty supple and soft. But personally for me on this style of watch, I definitely want to keep it on the band it came with. Or maybe throw it on a rubber band since I'm going to be taking it in the water. Um, that's just me. Um, but damn, I mean, if you want to wear a suit or something with it or a shirt and tie, I think you can throw it on this and it'll look okay. It's definitely a decent quality band. It's not like they threw it in because it was cheaper. It's definitely a, a decent decent quality, genuine leather band. And it feels pretty nice in the hands. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of the Salt Watch. Obviously, it's a different style. It's their own design language. I haven't really seen anything like it in the micro brand world. They do also do have a couple other watches. I really like, I really like the black with the steel. I think that looks pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of some vintage watches, um, in my honest opinion. But very nice case size. If you're looking for a smaller dive watch, which can be quite hard to find um, at affordable prices, this might be for you. Um, yeah, I think it, there's no really quality control issues on my end. I didn't find anything actually wrong with the watch. The movement's running pretty good, about plus six seconds a day. So yeah, I mean, you're getting a Sapphire Crystal, Miyota 9015. You're getting Loom. You're getting a Sapphire Crystal, Sapphire Bezel, Loomed Bezel, Loomed Applied Markers, two bands. I think it's not a bad deal. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. I will drop a link to their website so you can check them out after this video. Let me know what you guys think. This is Watch Addiction Watcheries with the Salt Day Dive, a new brand from France. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.